real quick about something I did back years ago on my old window. And um, if you know on the 36 horse engine, it has a generator stand that's fixed to the engine. So a lot of guys that were back then were taking Porsche generators and putting them on their oval windows. And I'm going to tell you guys about a little trick to change your car to 12 volt without having to replace the actual generator itself. So um, it did last me for more than a year. So I lasted until I sold the car, and the car went to Japan. So don't know really what happened after that. So this is back when that was happening back in the 80s or early 90s. Um, stuff was going over to Japan like crazy. So um, here's what I did, and it, and this is something that I'm gonna. You could talk to a hundred, two hundred, a thousand VW guys probably, and not one of them would know. In fact, some of my friends that were in VWs back to the six early '60s did not know this, um, but I learned this from. A uh, friend of mine uh, that had, uh, uh, well, actually, my friend Todd, who taught me about this, and uh, George Davis, his shop in Riverside back years ago, um, told me about this. Pro and I was like, hey, man, I don't really want to run a six volt in my car. You know, I hate six volts, they don't work right. The thing doesn't start half the time. I got to buy a really expensive battery. My lights are really dim, and today you're looking at, you know, you, you can't run your cell phone, you know, you can't charge your cell phone on it, you know, there's just so many things that you really need 12 volt system for now. You know, people go, well, I'll run six volt. Okay, so you're risking now getting rear ended driving down the road. You know, people just aren't looking for dim taillights, especially if you have one of these old guys. You know, this little taillight right here, dim, is, is a problem, okay? You're probably going to get rear-ended and you know that's probably not very good for your car um, not very good for you especially the protection that those old cars had um, so it's it's really a smart idea to put 12 volts in your car so I've seen a lot of guys going back to 6 volts and you know, trying to get original and stuff hey I'm gonna tell you how to make it look original and still get 12 volts 12 volt battery 12 volt lights in fact the only thing you'll see is you'll see the different regulator right here okay so so what you want to do is you want to take your generator real quick and test it take your six volt generator and test the generator to make sure that it's working properly now um, this is done two ways so you're gonna go ahead and connect take a battery mock-up you know put your battery over here you need a 12 volt battery to do this and go ahead and hook up jumper cables to your D plus to your plus of your battery and then ground your generator now to the battery so when you do that it might make a little spark or something but the generator should not move it shouldn't move at all if it starts spinning your generator has a false ground inside of it, it needs to be replaced or rebuilt Okay, that's the first number to thing to check. So it should hook up positive D plus to your positive ground, your generator to your ground on your battery, and the generator shouldn't do anything. If you left it that way a long period of time, it would actually drain your bat drain your battery, but we're not going to do that. So you check it up. So then go ahead while that's connected, see so your positive and your negative connect connections are there okay you're going to ground the field and now better hang on to it because that six volt generator with a 12 volt battery and you can be testing this with a 12 battery is going to spin like you hang on to that generator because i mean it's going to just ring <laughs> it's going to spin really fast so so you ground here make sure it spins so it'll spin backwards so if it does that, the generator is good, probably. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is if the generator is in the car, it's much easier than if it's out of the car. You're going to go ahead and fire up the motor, you know, and connect up 
your positive to the D plus, and then you're going to want to. Well, actually, no, you you don't you don't connect anything up to your D plus. You leave your D plus open. No wires connected, and on the six volt generator, they're just little wires sticking out of your um, out of your generator. So you're going to have to modify that a bit too. But you go ahead and uh, connect up a wire to your to connect up your voltmeter to your D plus. You know the positive to the D plus, the negative to ground, and then you ground your field wire. So see so your DF goes to ground like that. You'll connect up. Maybe just use a. I usually use a a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. I just grab them. I just kind of hold them on there. And then what I'll well then you want to check your voltage. Now you're going to find that that six volt generator will put out somewhere. Uh, I don't really remember the specific voltages, but it was a lot more than 12 volts. Okay, if you're getting to what I'm thinking, it does work. So that generator, that little six volt generator, will put out. I think it was around 24 volts to 20 to even 30 volts that thing would put out um, and you can do that you have to have your engine at idle it won't do it it has to be above idle so you're gonna have to crank it up to about 2000 rpms maybe use you know the choke uh, the choke hold and just push it up and crank it up to about 2000 rpms and test it and make sure that it does put out a proper amount of voltage because you're going to need it to put out more than 12 volts. It needs to put out like 14 or more volts to be able to do it to get a job of charging your battery. So if it does that, then go ahead and get yourself a 12 volt generator, 12 volt regulator, mount it to your 6 volt generator, and hook it up just like you normally hook up the generator. So the DF goes to the DF on the 12 volt regulator. The D plus goes to the D plus on your gener on your uh, regulator, and then you hook up your battery to the hot lead and your uh, idiot light to here. Okay, so you hook it all up the way you normally would hook it up. Okay, fire up your engine. You'll notice that the generator light is on at idle. Okay, that's normal. I drove my car like this for a lot more than a year, and. It didn't ever, the whole time it never went out. The generator worked. It, it might shorten the life of your generator, okay? But, you know, at least you've got 12 volts for now, and you can, until you can get it rewound or find a, uh, a, a, you know, another one you can get rewound, or you can go out and buy that, spend all that money for a Porsche one, especially if you have a 90 millimeter. They're really expensive now. So, I mean, like 800 bucks or something like that. So there's 90 and 100 millimeter, I guess, um, six volt generators. I don't remember these numbers. Somebody else told me a little while back. So anyway, uh, you go ahead and and put it in your car, and you'll notice at idle um, your generator lights can turn on. Now what you want to do is give yourself a fast idle, and the generator light should turn out, turn off. That means your battery's charging. Check it with. Um, a voltmeter to make sure that it's going up to about 13 or 14 volts and you're good to go. You can use your 6 volt generator to run your 12 volt system. It works. I did it for about two years and uh, or about a year, a little over a year and uh, I sold the car so I don't really know what, what the end result was but for a year I was driving 12 volts <laughs> and it worked. And that was with a 36 horsepower motor, and there was no other option other than buy a Porsche generator, and there was no chance of me back then. That was those were like two hundred dollars, I think, back then, and uh, that was like a thousand dollars today or something. You know, it was like there's no way I could have ever, you know, put that money into it. So anyway, those are little tricks there to run your six volt generator on your 12 volt system. And, you know, because, you know, if you're going to do the conversion and you have a 40 horse, say, um, you're going to have to replace the generator stand, the pulley, 
um, the generator itself or put in an alternator kit and you know you know I would highly suggest if you're got if you have a 40 horse just to buy the alternator kit but if you have a 36 horsepower motor and you want to have 12 volts um, pretty much the only option is to do what I'm saying and it will work you know I've done it it worked for me yeah, it worked for me for like I said a year and a half all right so give that a shot and see if it will work for you and uh, let's hear some uh, feedback on that talk to you in the next video